Oh yeah. Ready to skate. How's it going, everybody? Good. It's awesome that you got. Yeah, you want to skate? Be nice. Yeah. Um, so I'm Tommy Carroll. Um, I'm from Chicago, Illinois. So a little bit far away from here. It's really cool to be here because you guys have nice weather, and where I'm from, it's really cold, and you just die, and you can't stand outside. It's really not fun. Uh, so it's really, yeah. It's, so it's really cool that you guys are here. It's great to have a nice young group of people who want to learn how to skateboard. It's, a, it's an awesome sport uh, for a lot of reasons. You know, it's fun. You can do it on, you can do it with friends. You can also do it on your own. If your friends are busy, you know, you can like, no, I'm just going to put up my board in my driveway and, you know, work on, work on stuff. So it's, it's a good, good sport to be a part of. Um, how I got into it was actually kind of like, I was super into sports as a kid. Like, my whole family was like, football, like all that kind of stuff. Super into it. Cool stuff, yeah. But, at, at school, um, you know, when I was in like second grade, how, how old are you guys? Just shout it out. 41. So like between like second grade and like eighth grade, right? is that like about the range? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. High school. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so for, yeah, like right, so yeah, right around that time, you know, at recess, kids want to go out and play football and stuff, and it was cool, but you know, if you can't see or you can't, if you are visually impaired or whatever, you know, sometimes kids at like a young age don't realize, like they don't, your friends aren't like trying to exclude you or something, but like maybe they just like go and play and you know, they're like, don't think about, oh, like, you know, pass in the ball and hit him, like, do, so I want to do, do a sport that like, you know, I could do with friends, like I said before, but like also something that I could just like work on and make my own. And uh, do you guys, do you guys know the show Rocket Power? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's still, oh. it's still, it's, still right. it's, it's pretty old, it's pretty old. It was a show about skateboarding. So there was that, and there's the Tony Hawk skateboarding video game. So I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah. And also my mom was like, skateboarding is dangerous, it's stupid, why do people do it? So I'm like, yes, this is exactly what I want to do. My mom doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I got into that, and uh, I just started, like, we, uh, one day I went to, to like, a toy store with my, with my dad, and uh, we came back with a skateboard, and brought it to my driveway, and we tried it, and... I was I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't stay on. Like I would just jump off, fall every time. Like I tried for a couple hours, I'm like, you know what, I can't do this, whatever. Quit. Put that away for like a year in the garage. And then one day, just like you know, we had I just I don't know, I thought about it again and uh, brought it out and this time like I could ride for whatever reason, I just worked on it. And just from this this is probably around when I was like in third or fourth grade and from then on, you know, we practiced in my driveway and when it was nice out and when cold, it was bad weather, raining, I would go to my basement and just like practice on the rug, we'd be a little slower, lower, lower impact. And uh, just since then, you know, my, my town, some of the older kids who were skaters, like, kind of like talked to the, you know, the, their parents kind of got like, hey, we need a place for this to skate, so we were fortunate enough to get two skate parks in my town, and I just started going there. And then uh, just every day after that point, I was just, you know, more and more like, you know, I was involved in stuff at school, at, you know, at school, and, but like I was just more and more just wanted to go to the skate park. I come the weekend and said that came on, he dropped me off at the skate park. And originally, uh, you know, I would, you know, my parents would be there with me because I was younger. But when I got to be like 10 or 11, I would start wanting to be there so much that like, you know, no one wants it. No kid, no parent really wants to hang out for like four or five hours at the skate park. So just started learning, learning the ramps and uh, memorizing everything, making friends at the skate parks. And I just spent so much of my time, like probably between the time when I was like 11 and 15, like I spent like half my days just like at the skate park practicing and new parks and somewhere in there I met uh, Rob Bush who I'm here with today and uh, he owns a, he, uh, owns a skateboard company called Agent Skateboard he's like hey do you want to skate with us do videos and stuff like that do demos travel around so I just got a lot more involved in it and it's kind of 
been a really cool opportunity. Um, to not being able to see, it's definitely drawn a lot of attention. So I've been able to travel all over to like California. I was there scanning with the fan, the reviewer fan, the shoe company. I got to stay with them. I got to go to the Netherlands to shoot a video. It was it's been so it's been really pretty cool thing to be a part of. I'm glad that you guys are interested in being a part of it. Anyone have any questions? Uh, yes. What if um, our parents don't want us to skateboard because we're just not there? Uh, then you should. <laughs> <laughs> Skating is a very honest culture, so yeah, it's scary. Like, I mean, even but the thing is, like, even parents of non visually impaired don't want their kids skating. They're like, oh, it's dangerous, and the kids are bad, and like, it's it's it's. First of all, if you're visually impaired, if you want to look at it from a, like a, from a practical way, as a visually impaired person, like, you need to have more understanding of how your body works than the average person. Like, you need to be able to be more aware. And skateboarding. It's fun and like, as you practice, you don't need to even get to be, even if you just learn how to roll in on ramp and that's all you ever get, you know, just learn how to roll around, like, your balance is that much better than like the average human being, like, it's improved and that's going to help you, but, you know, for orientation mobility, you know, like, you're, you're going to have just a better, it's going to improve your sense of your surroundings and mobility and, you know, it, it, you know, when you're using the air, you've heard about the location, you're going to use like, the skills that you use are going to, you know, it's going to improve your auditory part. I mean, when you're going at like 30 miles an hour towards the quarter pipe, you know, if you're getting to that level, you know, your auditory processing has to be like, bam. So when you're sitting in class and your auditory processing is like five times better than your classmates, you're going to learn better. So, I mean, honestly, I'm going to have to like, I think skateboarding, from a scientific perspective, even helps out a lot. But I mean, I think you should not, you should never say I'm visually impaired, like, I can't do this. Yeah, I mean, you can't, you can't, like, that's, that's the whole thing, like, I'm sure you see people, you walk around, right? Have, have, you ever, have any of you ever walked around and, like, kids have met, like, some kids have just, like, said something that, like, hurts your feelings, like, like, they're just stuff that they don't know, like, why are you carrying that can like, why, like, why is he carrying that can't? has anybody experienced that before? Yeah. Just, like, really, like, stuff that, like, makes you not feel good, like, people don't do that on purpose, they don't want to hurt your feelings, but if, if you start doing things that surprise them, like they're gonna start to understand. And it will be the goal is that it's not gonna be if, if all of you guys learn how to skate and go skating for fun, like flying skateboarders will not be a surprise anymore, and that's a good thing. In my opinion anyway. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, Tom.